it's your girl T here back with another inspired video our affirmation for today is I am amazing I am amazing it's another simple yet effective affirmation and don't forget kiddos I am indicates that that's a surefire thing I am is a solid way to tell your subconscious this is fact I am I wanted to discuss a little deeper on SP. People complain that too many coaches talk about SP, but again, this is what I get the most questions about and I address where the questions come from. So if you wanna see something different, you gotta give me a different question. SPs, manifestation is the same regardless of what you are manifesting. However, for some reason, I find that when people are trying to manifest an SP, which means significant person, special person, whomever, they seem to have the most resistance there. And it's probably a compilation of past bad relationships. A lot of triggers come up when you're dealing with a live human being and you're affirming one thing, they're telling you another. It can be really frustrating. It can be really deceptive. It can be really heartbreaking if you put a certain meaning on what they're saying to you in the 3D. Now, a lot of coaches are, are doing the affirmation road where you affirm, 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 and things should show up the way that you want them to, which in theory, it does work. The thing is, a lot of coaches don't discuss the fact that if you have a lot of uh, resistance towards relationships and you have a lot of resistance towards somebody who is previously or somebody who you have previously dated because a lot of people are manifesting ex-girlfriends or boyfriends you have a story built up based on 3d um based on 3d actions that you've seen repetitively from that person you've built up a story and you expect them to show up a certain way and usually from what i'm hearing it's not in a positive way so you not only have to affirm for a different version of that person, you have to convince yourself and break down that resistance towards that old story. And what happens typically with manifesting is you affirm, 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 the person shows up, they text you or they call you. It's not necessarily the text or call that you've been waiting for, the big love profession that you've been waiting on. They say something and you're like, yes, I got contact with them. And then you guys go back and forth for a day, maybe a week, and then you find that either they ghost you or they start doing the same things they were doing before and it triggers you and you're like, they haven't changed, this is garbage, and they disappear. And then you're like, manifestation doesn't work, it sucks. The trick in any manifestation journey is when those triggers come up of past stories, because remember 3D, which is not your imagination, 3D is what's in front of you, when the person in the 3D says something that triggers you and makes you think of them in the old way, that's when you have to have a talk with yourself. You say, no, that's my old story. That doesn't apply anymore. I've obviously proven to myself I'm a powerful manifester. That's why they showed back up. I only accept this version of the person. No, they're not going to call me and be like, hey, can I come over tonight after one and one o'clock in the morning just to for a booty call? I don't accept that anymore. They're going to show me respect. They're going to choose me. They're going to show me love. They're going to show up the way that I want them to because this is my reality and I pick my own adventure and my adventure doesn't include garbage behavior. You can have discussions with them in your mind. No one has to hear you have these discussions. You can say, hey, so-and-so, why are you showing up like this? We've already talked in here. You're supposed to be showing up with respect and love and tenderness. What's going on? And you can hear them say back to you, ignore that version of me. That's an old version. The real version's up here. Just keep on persisting in your affirmations. You can do this for weeks, months, it's really helpful to, to um, eliminate your triggers by having internal dialogue go through. You're having it anyways. You have conversations with your boss telling them off the way you wanted to. You have fights with people in your mind. Nobody sees it, but everybody goes through that. Why not use it um, in your favor? 
why not use it to say the things to your SP that you wanted to say to them face to face? Because this creates and then this reflects, not fight with this and it'll reflect in here and make a change. That's not how it works. Do it up here first and this will show you the different version of them. So for all you guys who have manifested something back into your reality like an SP and then when they show up, they're not showing up the way that you want them to and you're getting discouraged and you're fighting with the 3D and then you're seeing the same pattern with that person as you've seen in the past, it's because you don't need to fight with the 3D. You need to fight your thoughts up here by affirming the opposite of what you're seeing or affirming the more positive version of what you're seeing because what you have up here eventually reflects out here. I've said that to you guys before, but you have to really grasp that this is distracting and it's painful and it appears real. You know how in your mirror on your car, it says objects may appear larger than they actually are. It's the same thing in 3D. These objects appear real, they seem real, they seem like they're unchangeable, but this is malleable. It's old thoughts passing through. Ignore, get rid of those, focus in here and out here will follow. And now if you guys need good affirmations to make it through the humps when your 3D is triggering you, or if you need more tips and techniques on how to um, coexist with your 3D in a way that benefits you, please comment below. And I just posted up a video the other day about sleep affirmations. They're game changers. They help you cut the time in half of how long you have to fight with the 3D. So watch that one. And I also have lots of videos on how to use the 3D to your advantage. No matter how many videos you watch, no matter how many coaches you go to, we're all going to tell you the same thing. We can give you all the tips and tools in the world, but until you change your thoughts and change your emotions tied to those thoughts and your beliefs, this is going to remain the same. You have to do the work of changing what's up here and this will reflect it back to you. And as usual, I love you, but not as much as y'all should be loving yourselves. Bye!